All right, hello everybody. This is Jimmy D again, and uh, in this session, this is session three. We're gonna go into the uh, arm, and uh, I just want a quick review that what you're seeing here is the bind joints. And if I turn these off, we've got our FK joints, and we also have a set of IK joints. Now, for the inverse schematics, for right now, we're just gonna do the arms and the legs. So and uh, I'm not going to do that right this minute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on the FK controls, uh, FK control skeleton. So it's very important that you're on the FK joints and that we're setting up the controls for this. Also, I went ahead uh, the I think it was the second or third video in the session two and created the the one custom script here. I went ahead and created a few more. Uh, just to save myself some time when I'm going through, I'm personally going to use mostly the the circles, the circles, excuse me, uh, for my FK, um, and, uh, my FK control skeleton. That way, when I switch back and forth from the FK to the IK, it's just kind of a symbol that if I see all these circles, I'm in my FK mode. Anyway, so here we go. So. Uh, you know, quickly, if we go into comets and into the shapes here and we click on the cube, uh, you're going to get a nice cube that comes in, but uh, it's not grouped or anything over here, you'll notice. And with the uh, one that I've created here, I'm going to delete this one out of here. The one, the custom scripts I've created here, when you click on the cube, it's going to make the comet cube, but it's also going to have my double group selection and then they're renamed and with a temp. Uh, for temporary holder spot uh, before I go ahead and name those. So, uh, like I said, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to start up with the clavicle and I'm going to work my way down uh, with the FK skeleton. So, for the clavicle joint, uh, I'm going to put just a tiny little ring circle back here b behind her scapula. So, I've got that one set right here. I click on that, open this guy up. And again, uh, the offset node, and I'm going to parent that to the clavicle bone. Zero this out, and then unparent. I got a button, you know, a quick button up there for that. I like to keep this open just to make sure that I know I'm working in the offset node. And I'm going to shrink this down, like I said. I'm just going to make a tiny little circle here so I can. And I'm uh, definitely going to move it over here. And I want to be able to see it from the, you know, kind of from the front and the back of the model. So, something probably like that. And at some point, I will uh, I'll go through and make sure that it's um, parented into the skeleton. So when we move everything around, it follows us. So, okay, so I've got uh, this guy, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, rename just the temp spot here with my clavicle control, and now oh, I copied the wrong term here. So, let me try this again. Copy. Paste, paste, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and do an orient constraint on this. So I have driver, which I want the control selected, and then the driven, so I'm going to drive this, and I'm going to drive it with an orient constraint, and I'm only going to drive it in the Y and Z axis, because I don't want it to rotate the arm around. Uh, I just want it to move it forward and then up and down. So as I constrain that, you'll see I have Y and Z locked off over here. So Y is this way, which is you know very natural. The clavicle is not going to move it too far that way, but it will. But it will certainly move it upwards. The clavicle controls the upwards lift of the arm. So I'm going to go into here now and select all of these, and then I'm going to control and deselect the two that I want, and then I'm going to lock and hide selected. Okay, so now when the animator comes in here and selects our control, uh, it's very easy for him or her to come through and move it and not get lost in what this particular control does. So, all right, so I'm going to move down to the shoulder now, and again, I'm going to create another tool, 
Make sure you don't have anything selected when you create these tools, otherwise they'll get snapped up into into the, the bone, and we don't want that. So create this one here, and I got my control selected. I know it's down below, so I'm going to shift select my shoulder, P for parent, zero these out, and then unparent. <coughs> Okay, and I'm going to control, I don't know, these are pretty close, I guess, actually. I don't mind if it goes through my mesh, personally, um, but maybe I'll make it a little skinnier, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with that, actually. So gonna go with that and I'm gonna completely orient constraint this one so driver is selected my temp control oh I should just go in here and name these I guess as I move along okay let me hold on one second here let me check this Okay, uh, hopefully I yeah, had a little TV in the background there. Uh, where was I? Okay, so I got lost. Probably should have figured out what I was doing before I came back here. Oh, okay, so driver, then driven. So I want the control, then the shoulder. Now I'm going to orient constrain these. And I need to make sure I go to my option box and turn all these back on and apply. And... Since I'm not going to be translating this, I'm going to lock and hide the rest of these. Okay, so we go to select our shoulder, and we should be able to move him around. Hold on a second, I'm looking at, we got some rotations here that we probably shouldn't have, so let me double check that. Okay, uh, I found out why I had rotations on there, and uh, one of the biggest mistakes that I practice, and well, I preach and preach, um, you can't, you don't want to parent the control node, we got to parent the offset node, that's the whole reason they're there. So, instead of rewinding and redoing the video, I just wanted to show you that uh, that was the mistake I made, I had the temp control selected, and I need, got to have the offset node, that's what it's there for. So, offset node selected, arm selected, and then we're going to parent that. We're going to zero those out, and then we're going to unparent. So when I shift and open these, on that temp control now, it's all zeros. Very important. SDK control, all zeros. The offset node is going to have the rotation and translate values on there. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to erase it. That's what we need. We're in the offset node still. I'm going to go into components and just shrink this down a little now again. Move it out just a little bit. I don't know. We me well. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, that's fine. I'm gonna leave it here. Okay. So now the control is zero. This is what you want to use to con to you know constrain the actual shoulder. So I'm gonna s select the control. So driver then driven. I want to drive the shoulder. And I want to orient constrain it. So I'm going to double check my option box. I want XYZ apply. There we go. Looking good. Much better. So I'm going to select all those. I'm going to control deselect these and lock and hide selected. So let's see what this is, should look much better now. There we go. Okay. So I can move this guy on the X. Oops. XYZ. Um, and Z. You know what? We really don't need the X either. Again, so <laughs> let me back up really quick. I'm just going to undo the, the call back on the constraint, and I'm going to select my control, my joint. Make sure this isn't bound. Okay. My control, then my shoulder, and I'm going to do the same thing I did with the clavicle. I'm just going to constrain it in uh, X and Y. I'm sorry. Uh, y and Z. Y, Z. Apply. Y. 
Lock and hide selected. All right, let's try it again. Looks better. Looks better. Okay. All right. So moving on. Uh, kind of lost track of time here. So um, I'm gonna do one for the elbow again since we're in the FK. Uh, deselect on everything, and I'm gonna go with this circle here and the offset and move it up here parents zero out this good stuff pretty cool and Um, rename in here. Okay. Oh, just renamed the wrong one, didn't I? Oh, yeah, I'm driving myself crazy here. I'm going to pause it while I rename these. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, I didn't name the shoulder, so when I went in to rename, I uh, jumped into that one. So... Anyway, uh, make sure that uh, hopefully you can see the outliner here, but I've got a clavicle control, shoulder control, now I've got an elbow control, and the lower sets are all zeroed out. The offset nodes are what are going to have the transformations. Again, so I'm just going to resize this uh, offset node just a little bit, make it a little, look a little bit better. And be a little bit bigger. That's fine for me. Okay, let's see if I can do one more here for the wrist and uh, deselect off of this. My uh, my, I just installed and it's, it's acting out a little bit up, but uh, we'll keep going. Hope for the best. Offset node. Going to parent it to the wrist. Zero it out. Let's get me old school now and unparent. So here we are. I'm just since I'm in the offset, I'm just gonna shrink it right now and give a little wrist a little bit of a different shape because I'm crazy like that, something like that. Oops. Make sure I don't run over. <clears throat> it's kind of a takes more time to chop these up than it does to just kind of stop and then redo one. Okay, so I'm going to rename this and then probably pause this one. Uh, wrist. Okay, so here we are. Actually, I might have time for one more. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that up here for right now. Uh, I'm gonna do one more just for the hand. I'm gonna put the hand out in front of the hand, and we'll we'll see why later. And I'm going to. This actually, you know what? I um, this one's gonna be a little bit different because it doesn't need to be parented in a joint. But uh what I'm I'm gonna move it up here at the end of the middle finger. Parent. It's fine. Zero enter and unparent. Explode these. Oops. Control. And I'm going to go pretty much with this, and I'm going to move it out in front of the hand. This is going to be the main control that I'm going to control on my fingers with. And I'm going to use FK for some of the finger controls and stuff, so a little far here. Anyway, I'm going to rename this, and uh, I'll show it to you, so I'm going to pause this. Okay, so quickly in a nutshell, uh, we just set up our 
one, two, three, four, five controls for the arm. 